idea how this is going to fit into the overall episode, but... This is the beginning of it. Welcome to That Triathlon Life. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. 5 o'clock p.m. on Thursday. And welcome to That Triathlon Life. You got a man in town, I'm gonna play a fan away. Stay. Oh man, you gotta be a man friend. You gotta play a fan of rain, they'll say in the sun. I tell them about our way, and man, it's a rain, but I can't find a scene. So these are our new TTL hoodies, our latest release. We are super in love with them. We've actually been making them since the fall, but we couldn't find a good way to get this felt put onto the hoodie in a way that we liked. We tried it with glue, didn't look good. So now it's stitched on, super nice, inspired by some of our foreign rider hoodies that we really like. And uh, yeah, they're super comfy. Amazing color. We only made a hundred, so when they're gone, they're gone. Never again are we doing a felt logo. <laughs> Hugest pain ever, but worth it. Look at it, it's all 3D. I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Chris Corbin for letting me borrow his gimbal. I feel super fancy, like Talbot right now. Does this feel like a super high-end Talbot video because of how smooth it is? Any anytime we go to a race, like Talbot's got his gimbal, Kenny's got his gimbal, everybody's running around with, with gimbals except for me. And now I can be, I can be part of the club. How long do you think until you want to leave? Like 40 minutes. Okay. Leave in 20 minutes, leave in 15 minutes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I got starving on the bike, so I ate too much, and now I feel like I'm going to throw up. That's a problem. Should watch in Ted King's latest bed. <laughs> I like his YouTubes, they're good. So I have the first, my first like real workout of the year on the run. And therefore it is not that impressive or difficult, but still a nice like, I don't know, a nice thing that I can actually do a run workout now not injured anymore officially and I've had a super slow buildup and will continue to have a slow buildup um, but we're racing the couples try in like two weeks from now so obviously I won't be super super sharp on the run for that but I think um, today I've got a 30 minute tempo and it's 
a good, pl a good place to start. Honestly, the last run workout I did was probably like last April because I got injured in May and that foot injury just kind of carried through the whole year and I was trying to piece together some running but no run workouts at all. So yeah, I definitely raced like it's kind of surprising that I did no workouts for almost a year but I was basically just like trying to survive between races and then racing kind of injured and now I'm truly healthy so let the tempo runs resume. Is this part of the plan? It's part of it. Put my warm up, snuggling Finn. <laughs> Lindsay gave me these shoes, so I'm gonna try them out. I've been running in Saucony Triumph for all my easy runs slash all my runs up till now from the, this whole year. Uh, not sponsored, just Lindsay is very generous and has given me a lot of shoes. And I love the Sauconys a lot. So um, I'm hoping these feel good too. I'll probably still race in like the Asics or the Nike. Nike's been amazing to me my whole career, but um, yeah, just like trying out other things since I don't have a relationship with any shoe company. It's like, that's the luxury. You get to try everything. So give these a try. They look fast, hey? They look very fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go for, I th I'm going to like loosely go for a QOM. It's an out and back. 12K, Lauren Fleshman has it, Queen of Bend. She got it in 2014 and she averaged 407 per K, which looks like she did a workout and then warmed down to get back. But um, I'm supposed to do a 30 minute tempo around four minute K. <laughs> so I'm gonna do 30 minutes and then ease up a little bit, but still keep like the pressure on a little bit. So hopefully by the end, my average is 407. But it's the out and back, it's called like First Street Rapids out to gate and back. So we do this workout, we do this run a lot because it's all on trail. Only crosses a couple roads, but um, it's like basically all along the river and has like the craziest, coolest views. So it's our favorite run and bend. We do it a lot for easy runs, but I don't really do tempos here that much off that often. It's like crushed gravel surface the whole way. So not like super fast, but not, um, not slow. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. It's like super hilly. Yeah, that's fine, don't worry about it. Okay, I'm just gonna see how it's going at 30 minutes. How do you like the shoes? I don't love them, but it's hard to tell on grab it. Like what do you have what do you have shown on your watch? All I have on here is total time, total kilometers, and then every lap, every K, it'll show me what my split is. Sometimes minutes per K can be like jumping all over the place, so the real um measures like when it actually splits but like we've done this run so much they have an idea of where all the k marks are
go to the gate. You're right there. Flip. Now you're good. I think I got it, but I don't know for sure. <coughs> I know it didn't feel good, but <coughs> the pace okay? I mean, I think. I was under the pace for the QOM the whole time, so. Not that QOMs matter, but they do when it's Lauren Fleshman's QOM. Just kidding. She probably wasn't even trying hard on this. I just kill fun. myself. Fizzy water after running? It sounds painful. Well, it's refreshing. Hopefully it registered as a, as a segment. 408 per K for the whole run. Yep. Boom. Got it by almost two minutes. That's great. I reached three fifty seven today. Paula's gonna be so mad at me. Alright, hope you guys like that. We decided to do Get a little more raw, just like sweat elite style. I don't know if we accomplished that, but um, yeah, just like to do along for a workout. It's hard to do because Eric and I both had a tempo today, so he had to do his first. So it's not always possible, but um, it's kind of fun when I can do it. It's good to be back on this side of the camera for the tempo run. From my perspective, if this whole uh, raw style works, it should be a lot less editing, less music picking, save a bunch of time. So um, yeah, if you're digging it, let us know. Paula just took off with Flynn to um, take him to the dog park for a little walk. I'm gonna jump on the bike. Barely have enough time to do two hours of riding. While I'm doing that, she's gonna go get her massage. Then it's my turn to get a massage. Then we can chill out finally and have some dinner. We are making rigatoni, kale, 
chicken meatballs. Pasta. I did not make up the recipe. Basically, we are exhausted, so we try to make dinners that are like ready within 30 minutes. Half an onion. Because I'm lazy, I buy free chopped garlic. That saves time. And these are the homemade chicken meatballs that I'm using. They're actually really yummy. If uh, Lindsay was making this, she would make the meatballs herself. But we're rushed. Ah. <laughs> Approximately half a cup. The starchy water. There's not really a sauce. You're just kind of make a sauce with like the lemon, the starchy water, the cheese. Not very fancy, but still covers all of the food groups and tastes amazing. Mostly because of the lemon, I think. I think what we're gonna do, what we've been doing pretty much every single night for the last couple of weeks, finish dinner and watch Olympics. See y'all next week. <laughs>